This morning, some good news finally. Dow futures are up about 300 points. Most stock markets in Asia closed higher. Tokyo's Nikkei index gained about 6%. Stocks in Hong Kong jumped over 14%. That's the biggest percentage gain there in 11 years. Yesterday, the Dow lost another 200 points, closing at its lowest level in five and a half years. And we are joined now by Sanford Weil, former chairman and CEO of Citigroup, to talk about the economy. Sandy, good morning. Morning, Harry. Is this roller coaster? Is this going to be over anytime soon? Because the the Hang Seng, which we were just talking about, it lost its greatest percentage points the day on Monday. It went up its greatest percentage mm-hmm. points today. When does this end? I think we're going through obviously a very volatile period where people are being forced out of the markets because of margin calls. Hedge fund liquidations are creating even more selling pressure. But I think that we've seen something unique happen, Mm -hmm. and that is a Democratic Congress agreeing with a Republican president that has like eight days more to be in office to come together on a plan that I think makes sense. And I would think a year from now we'll see things being a lot better. What what about things like we've seen this uh, contraction in all of these businesses, especially over the last Mm -hmm, year. mm -hmm. It's only starting to steamroller General Motors, Chrysler, all these, the big three auto companies in serious trouble. Unemployment on the rise. How bad does it get before it gets better? Well, I think we've set in motion a whole series of events that is going to make the economy really, really bad over the short term. I think we're going to see the biggest drop that we've seen in GDP. I think we're going to see unemployment go up to about 9%. 9%. But I think that our government, in connection with the governments around the world and all over the world acting in concert, will put in place the opening up of the markets again. And I think we'll see things uh, looking better uh, a year after the election. A year after the election. This whole thing with the bailout, hundreds of billions of dollars going into banks, going into Wall Street, did the Federal Reserve and did the government get there late and did they do this too hastily? I think we got there late, but I don't think by the time we did get to do it, we didn't have much time, so I think we had to act fast. Mm-hmm. I think by injecting money into the banking system, those banks can leverage that 10 times that money so that the, the government can get a lot more bang for the buck. Right. I think that they're going to get their money back. I think the taxpayers are going to be fine. In the end. Uh, in the end. But and in the short term on Main Street, people are sitting there, Where does it, when is the relief going to come? They have, all this money has showered into Wall Street. When does it start raining on Main Street? Well, we've seen like 10 or $11 trillion disappear from the markets, which has affected pension funds, it's affected 401ks, it's affected all people. Right. But I think we have, the market's now gone down that much. I think we've, we're have we in the process of building a base, and I think that they'll see these things beginning to have a good effect on the right. economy in, in six or eight months. And this whole bailout has made a lot of people crazy, not the least of which, as they're reading now, some of these folks on Wall Street are still going to collect their half billion or three quarter, a million or million dollar bonuses. I don't think very many. Not very <laughs> no, I, I think you're seeing, and I think the leadership of the comp- the banks and the, the Wall Street firms uh, should really, they don't deserve bonuses this year. This was not a good year for shareholders. Right. They believe in pay for performance, and performance wasn't there. And they should act accordingly. And they should act accordingly. Sandy, so much. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Really appreciate uh, it. My pleasure. Right, Thank Sandra. you.